Can you guys see everything okay? Hmm. Okay. Just double checking to see if it if everything's visible. <laughs> it is. There's like a teensy little bit mm. of a delay, but all right, let's get started. Okay, so where we last left off, um, I was going to, uh, yes, attend Herbology class. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So what I've been up to is doing some grinding and some side quests on the side, off stream. I, uh, I leveled up a little bit. I got some uh, room of requirement points and I completed some quests. I completed Brother's Keeper. Um, I need to do. I need to meet up with Sebastian at some point. I completed Brother's Keeper, the Lost Astrolabe. Yeah. I beat up some spiders and goblins and whatnot. I'm gonna continue on with the rest of the game, the rest of the main quest. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Kind of wish these classes were more How than just a montage. Wonderful to see you again. But whatever. Time to learn. Guardian I've completed Yosa. my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see oh, you try really? your hand at it. A graceful wand movement. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Oh boy, here we go. I hope I can do this gracefully. Oh. Okay. I am a pro at this, guys. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Okay. What made you want to teach herbology? I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Uh -oh. oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well... He never cared, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. Hmm. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. Oh, but no. Terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And yeah, that's when you took over think? as the herbology professor. Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, 
kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. Sheesh. It's almost comical. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Me Upon too. his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. Oh boy. Does that... Oh boy. What does that mean? Does that mean he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. All right, we did it. Okay, time to learn Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> sure, I can always collect more Ditney. Why not? Okay. What do I need to do next? Okay. to go to Professor Sharp's potions class. I want to learn some more spells. How am I supposed to be an evil wizard if I don't know any evil spells? Professor, I saw an aura badge on your desk. May I ask about your time as an aura? Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Hmm. Sounds exciting. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. While it lasted, at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. Oh, May I ask what happened? Scar? 
Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. Shrunken I had deduced heads. that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. Oh, shoot. I, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is at that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well right. said, Professor. Thunder brew potion. Okay. I know exactly where to go get one. any more cozy than Hogsmeade. What? Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. to see you again. Farewell for now. All right. I showed my wand, my wand, my most recent wand handle, did I? Cool, right? Let's go. Good thing the Ministry banned underage sorcery. Can't put them young. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Huh. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, okay. These are spell crafts for... Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Doesn't look like there's much I can do about, uh... Oh, I already opened this 
chest. Hogsmead, here I come. More like Hogsmead, here I leave. Revenia. Oh, okay. So that doesn't work. Ooh. Maybe I can go swimming in the water. Nothing wrong with taking a quick dip, right? Will the water push me? How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that was kind of cool, I guess, but. Well, how marvelous! Let's go... Riding on a broom, I'm riding on a broom. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. Oops. Hogwarts Express takes, right? That's pretty cool. Can't ignore the kitty cats. Oh. <laughs> um, hi? Excuse me, ma'am, I didn't realize this was uh, I your would house. so appreciate a little help. Didn't realize this was your house. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim. An omen of death. I'm not safe. But not if it safe. can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. Well, as it happens, I have what you need. Here. Not sure it'll help you, though. Be careful, won't you? Oh, you're a gem, you are. I'll be sure to be very careful. And you be careful, too. No Grim is going to get me. Thanks to you, kind child. 
Um, I must okay. insist that you accept this small token of me gratitude for your thoughtfulness. Oh wow, I could have just gotten a thunder brew from this lady. Oh well. What on earth? Revelio. Huh. Oh, okay. Alright. Lumos. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. One less human to worry about. Find a bluff job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. on pudding mistook you for a drink yesterday.
both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Revelio. This is a cool device, though. This is a cool car, though. Sick ride. I'd love to drive it. <gasps> bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I just surprised I managed them. to catch them off guard. <laughs> oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. Aww, I'm especially so grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking? Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for passing through. If it isn't my most generous fan, this remarkable thing is called an accordion. <laughs> Look at it go! I can use some gold. Time to go back to the professor. Have you finished your assignments? I believe so. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Well, all perfect. Yes, well. sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve oh, are a potent cool combination. A cool guy. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, <laughs> let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. All right. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. He seems like an all right guy. He's strict because he himself screw screwed up and almost got himself killed. 
being too reckless and arrogant. I like that. Mm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on defense. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. <laughs> Can bring that to the okay. <laughs> Good to see you continuing to practice. Some more quests. Let's progress through the game, baby. I sure do have a lot of these potions. Oh, that's 
interesting. I do have, I think I have my fill of venomous tentacula. That was a nice refreshing dip. The greenhouses are really cool. I like them a lot. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. That sounds lovely. All the sights and bustle of a city. To some, yes. I used to dream of living in the country. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. Oh, but I've given you the wrong impression. On the contrary, I was shown great kindness. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Gosh, now, she's so sweet. I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. Please, could you remind me the purpose of my tasks, Professor? Of course, dear. Professor Weasley has kindly asked that I give you some tasks to ensure that your learning continues to flourish outside of the classroom. Once you've completed them all, be sure... Okay. Ah, oh, okay. One of these again.
Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. 